So I think that you may be feeling sad right now because there could be people <coughs> cheat. So, so I think you may be feeling sad right now because there could be people that you are missing and there seems to be little to no communication or connection. Like people are not speaking with one another. You may be not communicating with your family and friends and loved ones. Um, people from your past missing you, people like, are you missing people from your past? People like feeling sorry, people feeling sorry that there is a disconnection, sorry that they're not talking to you in a way, you know, just feeling the, the loss of that connection. And there is a blockage, like people are wishing that there was not this blockage or that they could just call you, pick up the phone and call you. Are you doing the same, you know? Um, but I feel like someone may be saying you are sometime-ish. They don't know how you're going to be feeling today, how you're going to be feeling tomorrow, if you're going to want to be speaking to them, if you're going to be speaking to them, or if they're going to get through to you, if it really makes sense. You know, someone may be feeling that kind of way. All right, there's also a feeling of pain, like you can feel it <sighs> in my energy, in my voice. It may be in your back. You may feel like this pain in your in your shoulder, in your back, in your spine. It may be how you're sitting. Um, it may be the energy of sadness, a broken heart. This pain may be on your left side. I hear injury. So we're going to find out why you've been feeling so much pain and stress. Get seven of swords and what it is that you need. You may need money. You may need to cooperate. You may need to talk about it. What has been on your mind? There's something about your father as well. There's something about collecting money. All right. There's you meditating also, speaking your truth. You're about to get some truth and clarity. King of Swords and the Devil card. There's someone that is watching you. Could be a family member. Could be an ex. This person, they like, they something about their mental. Like, they're kind of manipulative or they watch you carefully with the, with the magician card. Yeah, the moon card. This person, they're secretly watching you too, and they're watching you hard, spying on you, and spying really hard, determinedly, focusedly. Yeah, look, the Ace of Swords next, intentionally, right? They're watching, like, I hear Crimson, wow, look, I hear Jasper with this card, number six, Alchemy, True Love, Vibration, someone is really watching you and giving you a lot of attention, Watching you through your window, I hear context. Someone is just someone is trying to look for an opportunity, or every opportunity that they get, they get to watch you. That's what they're going to do. Someone may be bathing in your light, moonlight energy, ten of swords. Yes, yeah, someone is really feeling pain because they cannot speak to you, but it feels like they're upset with themselves. I hear jealous and. They feel like um, something about you, Page of Swords, like they wish they could, um, or they feel like they wish that they could talk to you. They may be feeling like you are the one with the barrier up, Cancerian, which is right. Ace of Diamonds, I hear confetti or confession, something about your money. Someone may have caused you to lose money or hope in the past. With a fortune or blessings or swap destiny or someone may have tried to stop you. This could be about your love, your fertility, pregnancy, motherhood, um, uh, um, family energy here. Someone was, someone did something offensive to you. And I hear rude. So that is why you put up your barrier. Okay, but this person seemed to be upset at you. <sighs> They're upset at you. Right? So you're feeling extra pain. King of Swords, you're feeling the extra stress. The Devil card here as well. Toxic energies. I feel like you need to relax. You need to take care of yourself. <sighs> so you are someone's guilty pleasure or someone is just really obsessed with you. Um, just really into you. They think of you constantly, this energy. And they don't want you to tell them to stop. They don't want you to say no, else they're going to be more determined to be with you. 
This is like someone that don't want you to give up on them. Someone is persistent in thought, in prayer, in word, in action, in intention. Um, to be to make it through those boundaries and to for you to open up and accept them in your life. Someone is knocking, not knock, right? I hear a soldier, right? Someone is yeah, the twin flames card. Gemini could be a Gemini energy or a person from your past that wants to come in. I feel like because the re the reason you could also be feeling so much pain is because you have the boundaries up and this person is forcing them. I don't know how true that is. Okay? But you need to take care of yourself and pray. Pray some more. Okay? Pray some more. Um, hydrate yourself also. Restore your energy because someone is seeming to somehow be able to pull on your energy. And then we have cheated. The Two of Cups and the Eight of Diamonds. I hear wicked. So what is the Six of Cups, Angels, Spirits, Guides? No idea. Um, something, some, maybe your family and drama. Six of Cups is, um, I was saying you taking care of yourself today, yeah. Temperance, watch your energy. Someone is going to move toward you with an offer. Yes. I'm not sure. You may be feeling like tired or exhausted or like out of it when this offer comes your way. Like it may seem like you're not receiving the energy, but it's because you're, uh, it's like you're under a spell or you're feeling like down in some way. But there's some good coming, right? I feel like something like a storm. Wow, it's coming on the sea or someone is traveling to see you. Chariot. It's going to bring you, so I hear conditioning. It's going to bring you clarity and um, awakening. Wow, the tower. It's going to bring you breakthroughs and um, devailing and breaking off of this heavy energy. It's going to like... Loosen the shackles from off of your shoulders like wings imagine like You were in a, a bodysuit made of iron and it's gonna fall in half off of you, but in the like um, vertically Split like wings falling from off of your shoulders You're gonna have that kind of a breakthrough. Oh gosh, man Because the truth is that it has been really heavy and burdensome and toxic and karmic and draining. I don't know what this is. Look, the page of wands. I don't know what it is. The four of wands. Like someone is trying to make you or something is trying to make you miserable. Where there seems to be peace. Queen of wands. You seem to have achieved something successfully in love. But something or someone wants to make you feel like uncomfortable uneasy stirring triggered anxious nervous right like things are not good so you're gonna see the truth and i'm telling you i don't know what this is it could be an ex <sighs> six of swords work on your breathing right your breath work let's look at the two of cups what is the two of cups What is the two of cups energy? This is this offer that is coming your way. Yeah, six of swords. Seven, um, six of one, diamonds. Two of cups. For sure, a love offer is coming your way. Something I hear judiciary. What is it? Yeah, something maybe a marriage offer with the hair of fun here to repeat it. <sighs> someone is thinking about this, but someone is just feeling exhausted are tired someone wants to be held someone wants an angel you could be an angel someone needs to fall in the arms of someone safe someone they trust someone that is reliable someone that is a guidance someone needs to fall into the arms or some of someone with wings and trust to be held something significant nine of cups something about source yeah the world card something about um source 
the world. Okay, someone may be pregnant or experiencing like withdrawal. And but I'm getting someone wants to marry you or come in with an offer, sun card. For sure, like there's there's like someone that wants to come in even though we're having this energy. It has it feels like it has nothing to do with them. Even though it is affecting them in some way because they're looking at your energy and they're questioning um what you're up to, what's going on, what's good with you. Wow. So what is the four what is the eight of diamonds? Yeah, your energy is being drained. Death card and the page of wands. Yeah, the truth is coming out about this person. You're gonna keep speaking about it. Eight of wands. You're gonna keep like um fighting, persevering. You know, sending back the the shots like you're not going to just take it. Star card and the nine of wands. You're going to keep putting out the effort for yourself. Believe in yourself and working on yourself. So you're going to get rewards, but you may not feel it yet. The eight of diamonds card in this love reading. Yeah, you're going to be getting your energy back. And the magician. Nine of swords. And this someone did not want you to be in your like power or be self aware or to be taking your power back. You know, they don't like it when you're becoming awakened to the truth of who you are. Three of Diamonds and the Ten of Swords. They feel really sad. Star card. Missing you. Right? Five of that five of cups. What's the four of cups here? For cancerians. Yeah, the moon card, the five of cups, and the three of diamonds. How oh, this person is missing you secretly. Whatever they were doing to hold you, to have you, to have and to hold, to marry you. Yeah. To have you in their life. They were trying really hard to do something. Maybe paperwork and money was involved here. 